So it's clearly evident that the Karnataka government is playing out to the election uh, fever in Karnataka that's happening. And he's making these statements to gain brownie points in Karnataka. But let me also advise the Karnataka chief minister that we live in a democratic country and the people of Goa has their rights and they have the rights over the water resources that is the Madai River. So the Karnataka government, though it's a BJP government, can continue to pursue its path. The Goa government will pursue its path, which will finally lead to a decision taken in court. And that decision will be a decision that will be based on equality and justice. Right now, it is important for us as Goans to stand together outside the realm of political parties, because this is not a political issue. This is an issue that concerns the lives of the people of Goa now and in the future. Any construction that is made for the diversion of the water of Madai is an issue that Goa needs to take seriously and it is an issue that will harm the future of Goa. What is also very important to notice is the, is the comment made by the environmentalist Rajendra Kerka to a publication in Goa where he spoke about the DPR having Surla River attached to it. And that's very, very frightening because the tribunal award was based only on the diversification of water to, through the three uh, major rivers that are there, the Khalsa, the Bandura and the, uh, the, the third one. Surla River being a part of it in the DPR is a new dimension that has come into this problem and this is where the Goa government must impress on the court and as well as the centre to withdraw that DPR because the DPR is not based on the tribunal award that was meant to be uh, given to all the states concerned, Karnataka, Maharashtra and Goa. Uh, uh, sir, uh, sir, uh, regards to this uh, river and this... See, I think the Goa government has and the uh, various other authorities in Goa that deal with water are fully aware of the problems that lie ahead if the water gets diversified, not in the interests of Goa. What is important for us to understand that Goa right now will at some point of time face a water scarcity because a couple of the water bodies as pointed out by Rajendra Kekar as well in several of his articles and reports that there is going to be a water, water scarcity in Goa and therefore we must be prepared for it for the next 5, 10 years to 15 years is problems that are going to arise. Uh, okay, other side the uh, leader of opposition in Karnataka says that this is a political strategy. So what do you have to say? Is it a political strategy over there and over here also or it's only the political strategy on Karnataka only for the election? You can't play with lives of people no matter what politics are going on. Water is a lifeline. <laughs> whether it's a year in, in Goa, whether it's in Karnataka, whether it's in Tamil Nadu. What is important is to understand that you can't play on the life of people. You can't play with water. Water is the source of... And if you look at Madhai, Madhai is the source of 49% of the population of Goa. If there is any diversification or diversion going to happen to that water, there is of course going to be shortage of water as far as Goa is concerned. And we need to be willing to understand that this is the problem. Right now, of course, Karnataka is going to the election and Karnataka needs to make that kind of noise. But Karnataka cannot play with the lives of the people of Goa and the people of Goa will not allow Karnataka to play with the lives. Of the Today, um, uh, Mavin Gudino has given a statement regarding say that uh, it's a uh, love affair, means uh, anything, is, anything, fair fair, uh, anything is fair in love and war and, and in, in election also it's the same. So, you, like I said, water is a lifeline of the people of Goa. It's a lifetime of people in any part of the world or any part of this country. You cannot call it a love affair of love or hate and everything is fair in love and war. It is about life life. So while he would have said it in, in uh, jest, the fact of the matter, you cannot play politics over water. That is the most important thing and that is why we have to impress upon the centre that they have to withdraw that DPR. Because the DPR, as Rajendra Kerkara says, has got Sula River also into it, which was never a part of the tribunal of order.